But first, honoring a student whose life was cut short following a school bus accident earlier this week. Tonight, the school prepares to pay tribute to him on what would have been his 18th birthday. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Thanks for joining us tonight. We first told you about this accident on Monday. Sherman Vinoy was riding his bicycle near Lake Mineola High School when he was hit by a school bus. Today, Sky 6 flew over the school's football field where Sherman's initials SV are now painted on the field. New Six's Brian Didlake is following the story for us tonight and Brian, the community is trying to get results by calling for better safety protocols around the school. Uh, that's correct, Lisa. We talked to one parent who says she and others are trying to bring more awareness to the speed limit signs as well as these crosswalks, saying that it's getting dangerous for kids in the morning. And while, yes, many are celebrating the birthday of Sherman Vinoy today, as seen in this growing visual, that same parent says it's also time to get results. Christina Cumbie holding a sign asking driver to slow it down Thursday. We have so many kids crossing at pitch black in the morning and we need people to slow down. Cumbie tells me she is committed to getting results after 17 year old Sherman Vinoy was hit and killed by a school bus earlier this week. Florida Highway Patrol has not said if speed was a factor in Vinoy's death. Lake County Schools today confirming that bus driver is now on administrative leave. What type of results do you want to see come to just the intersection or this area in general at this time? We need more police presence so that there are, you know, visual visuals for the drivers to know that they need to slow down. This is how dark it is out here at 645. And she shows me why. Come be sending this video from earlier this morning just before sunrise. She says this shows the conditions kids have to travel in before heading to school. Outside of getting results, our cameras were rolling as people laid flowers at Vinoy's memorial. Many celebrating what would have been his 18th birthday today. He came from such a good, loving family that showed him to be such a great human being. He really, he really was. He was so good to my little girl. Jadeli Rivera set up this happy birthday sign. Her daughter, Alexis, was Vinoy's girlfriend before he passed. Rivera is joined by students and faculty, all seen wearing purple. Sky Six even flying over a tribute to Vinoy painted on the field. Why purple? Purple was just one of his favorite colors. Rivera says while tragic, she can't help but smile and say thank you to all who honored Vinoy. It's very touching to see that what we think is just right here in our inner circle, there's so many people just outside and that love and support and all those thoughts and prayers, not only for us, but especially for his family. I mean, we're all feeling the love. And also feeling the love is Alexis, the girlfriend of Vinoy. As you can see here in this sign, love always Alexis. That is just one of the many uh, signs that we're seeing out here as people are still going to be celebrating his life for the coming days. Also, Cumbie says that going forward, she will be out here every Wednesday until they're able to get results. But for now, we're live in Lake County. Brian Ditlake getting results. News 6. Certainly an emotional story, Brian. Thank you. Now, GoFundMe has been set up to help cover funeral expenses for Sherman's family. It has already raised more than $25,000. If you would like to donate, we have a link to that on our website, clickorlando.com.